There's a nice loud Friday groan. But it's the weekend coming up, so hooray, we've got a lot of shows as well to see soon. The sardines, let me see, we've got Life of Pi tonight. Waitress coming up Monday, these are big shows, big touring productions we're going to. Um, what's happening on Tuesday? Something on Tuesday as well. Sheila's Island. That's the female version of Neville's Island. Um, which I've been in actually, I played Neville. So that would be interesting um, to see on Tuesday, won't it? And um, Wednesday we're going to see Les Mis in the West End. So that's going to be good fun. Um, keep your comments coming in about ticket prices. We've got a survey and we're going to keep it running for now. We've got a nice survey. Links below this video to the survey um, about ticket prices. West End ticket prices, touring ticket prices against amateur, non-professional ticket prices. So you need to... Um, do that survey if you can please and in the next issue we're going to be publishing a nice feature on the various ticket prices and how how dear they've got or not as the case may be um, um, si uh, since the pandemic's announced it's kind of finishing the pandemic is finishing soon all restrictions are going to be dropped um, countries are I think Denmark's dropped all its restrictions haven't it already um, we're going to be doing it a month early in the UK so Boris Johnson has announced who's clinging for his job um, yeah it looks like it looks like we're going to be announcing end of all, restri all restrictions so we've got to get back to normal the professional theatre industry is leading the way not surprisingly if you're earning your crust your very livelihood by what you do then no wonder it's leading the way but the non-professional sector, which we are all part of, it's going to take a bit longer, isn't it? Because the members that make up the non-professional theatre sector, the people who run the societies, many are of an age where they will be considered to be maybe a little bit more vulnerable than other members. So maybe um, the, the societies that are announcing they're coming back, maybe, maybe it's going to be younger people that's going to be um, leading the way there in the comeback of non-professional theatre. Wouldn't that be ironic? We've said for years, haven't we, we need our youth to come through and it's always the older generation that seems to be running our societies so we want the youth to come through. Wouldn't it be ironic if the pandemic is responsible for that youth to come through? Wow. That's something to think about, isn't it? I wonder if that's the case. Anyway, look, here it is. We've got a new issue out now, and there she is. There's Michelle Collins on the front of our new issue, and it's fantastic. It's full of wonderful things, including our Panto special. Um, obviously, all the regular stuff is in there, but our Panto special is an annual regular feature because we bring you advice, help, information some funny stuff as well some interviews with some of the big panto stars in the country to help inspire you for your own panto seasons which are about to launch the professional season obviously runs every december until just after the new year so that's finished with now for another year another year it didn't happen last year but it's happened this year thank goodness and most of them have got through to the end which is um something to be pleased about but the um, non-professional amateur, um, non-professional pantomime season kind of is, happens end of January, February, March, maybe April, maybe the Easter um, term closure will signify many non-professional pantomimes. We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, look, have a look at this year's this issue of sardines, the panto special, because this is where you can find some inspiration and if you just take one thing away from some from one article that we've put into our panto special and take it back to your own performance then that's fantastic isn't it marvelous marvelous now what else is going on um do you want to be a reviewer for sardines if you want we're getting more and more requests for reviews for so we've got about a hundred people all over the country that review for sardines already. Um, obviously, there's a core 
that do a lot of reviews and a few people just do a few reviews here and there on the periphery. If you want to be a reviewer in any of those ways, whether you want to become a core reviewer or on the periphery, um, normally you get a couple of tickets to a show that you don't have to pay for. Um, if you're lucky you'll get some wine or refreshments thrown in or a program maybe and you have to submit a review within 24 hours if you think you're up to it and can turn your pen remember pens remember what they were used for if you can turn your keyboard or pen to writing a good critique a, a constructive critique of something you've seen then we want to hear from you so please let us know at reviews at sardinesmagazine.co.uk Okay, that's reviews at sardinesmagazine.co.uk and we will um, get back to you pretty quick and let you know what's going on. We, we review amateur stuff, obviously. Amateur, non-professional, grassroots, community, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know the word amateur has been hijacked a little bit, so it's used as a bit of a put-down. You know, if you want to insult one, someone, you call them an amateur these days, don't you? You amateur. So if you want to become a reviewer, let us know and we'll get back to you, okay? Um, we will definitely, definitely get back to you and we'll go from there. 24 hours, um, reviews have to be submitted and you need to find about 300 to 500 words. In the meantime, stay safe, stay well. Here's the next issue. Here's the new issue. And um, on the website you need to register and you can subscribe to the new issue. You can read it digitally if you want. It's only £7.50 for six months, 12 quid for a year, £1 a month. If you want that, if you want this printed copy as well, we throw in a digital description free of charge. So we give you free digital access. And it's £20.99 for one year, £36.99 for two years. And that gives you six copies a year. That's cheap, isn't it? It's got to go up soon, but it's not going up just yet. But pretty soon. Anyway, stay safe, stay well, have a lovely weekend. The sun's out again. See you later. Bye for now.